What's up everyone? We have a familiar customer on the table. I worked on this one before and the owner said it was working great pretty much all last season or half of last season when he brought me in the middle of the summer. And all of a sudden he went to use it earlier this year, was working fine, put it away. It's been a little cold, a little weird of a year. Tried putting it back or running it again and it's not running anymore. He isn't quite sure if it's just bad fuel or what. He was a little questioned, questionable on the fuel he put in there. So now it's on the table. So I think we're going to make a video of why you should not use questionable fuel. And if you do have questions about it, pour it into a clear container. And if it looks fine, pour it into your machine. Clean, clear container, by the way. And if it has a little water in there, you know, you could potentially use the top of it and don't pour the water in there. But let's see if that's the problem or if there's a different problem. Well, hold on there. Over 90% of you, according to YouTube, are not subs currently subscribed. You're watching this video, but you're currently not subscribed. So I'm going to welcome you to subscribe at the end if this helped you out. I work on a lot of machines, so maybe the machine you're watching is going to be something you own. But who knows? Maybe you own a generator, a pressure washer, a big mower, a chainsaw, a variety of things. The only way to know if I'm going to fix it in the future is by subscribing, and maybe I get to the one that you own and can help you out then too. So I welcome you to subscribe, put a thumbs up if it does help you out. Back to your normal video. Let's go ahead and take this off, shall we? This should be 10 millimeter. If I could find my impact, it would be great. Oh, here it is. Want to hear a funny story about these type of mowers? I used to work with a guy who brought me this exact same mower, more or less, except I don't think it was all wheel drive. I think it was just a normal um, front. No, it was rear. And one day, Something fell on in the shed, completely snapped. Like, I believe the intake was just completely, well, it hit the intake and the piece of the aluminum completely snapped off. Not good. Anyway, he asked me if I had another one. In addition to that, I also put a nasty hole in the deck. I think it was a pile of shovels or something, or a shovel hit, I don't remember. Anyway. No, I do have a recycler though. It's basically the same as a lawn boy. And he pretty much told me he never wanted to have a Toro because he heard bad things about them. Which is funny because a Toro is basically a lawn boy. Which, if you weren't aware of that, it is. In addition to that, an X mark. It's also very similar to a Toro as well. How the world we live in. So we're going to take a pair of clamps, put that there. Somewhere in here is my big pair of pliers. Here we go. Okay, new projects coming. It's that time of year, I tell you. Now, we're going to take a wee bit of a sample here. We're going to take a cup, clean it out. And the dirt technically probably doesn't matter because we don't really care too much about the dirt. What we're looking at is the fuel and if there's water in it. More specifically, that's what I'm looking for. Because if it's old fuel, more likely than not, it will have water. Just how ethanol works in the fuel here. It's a very humid area that we live in. Water in the air. I don't see a single thing. And it actually looks almost brand new too. So I don't suspect there's a whole lot of fuel issues going on, at least in the tank. So 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump that in the container and we'll get this taken off. There we go. Now we're going to pull this off. It's usually a fun ordeal. Now, usually we have to take off the choke on the other end. And this is no different. So on this end, over here, there's a choke mechanism that's bolted to the exhaust. You don't potentially have to remove it, but it's just easier. I'm going to take off the three screws, the holes down to recoil. After that point, this whole cover comes off and we can gain access to that. And then it's just two 10 millimeters to remove that. And like I said, you don't have to remove it. You can just try to get it off the, any other way, but I'm going to remove it. Now, uh, that's done. We could take this off, take this spring off. We're going to open this up except over the same container and we're going to see if there's any water in the bowl. Here we go. So there's dirt and stuff on the outside of this, so there's probably going to be dirt in the bowl when we're done doing this, but we're not looking for dirt technically. Actually, it doesn't look all that bad either. I'm going to leave this tipped over like so, and then all the water will kind of go to the lowest end. If there is water, it doesn't really look like there's water. Let's take a look at that main jet and see if... I'm starting to wonder that would even work. The screwdriver is probably not the best. Uh, maybe it's not. I think it's time I get a better fit screwdriver. Yeah, there we go. There we are, perfect. Perfect fitting is exactly what we needed. Now, you can probably can't tell, and neither can I, but I'm going to see if the jet's plugged. Uh, it's definitely plugged. So, that very well could have been our issue. So, it wasn't even, probably even dirty f uh, fuel. It was just maybe old fuel at one point. Don't know. The fuel in there wasn't all that old, though. And it's not like a piece of dirt's plugging it up. I'm just taking a wire from a wire brush and shoving it in there. I'm gonna drain a little bit more fuel out, see if I get any water at all, but considering the bowl they have water, and the only debris I'm seeing there is from the outside of the carb, I'm not too concerned over debris, and the bowl looks clean. It's usually a pretty dead giveaway. Okay, now I... Hopefully we can see something, but yeah, it, it's pretty good now. So, let's go ahead and put that back on. I'm going to take a moment, and all I really did is take the bowl off. Just going to blow the inside of the carb dry, just in case, and then put it back on the machine and we'll give it a pull. Maybe this will be a quick 10 minute video. So I probably did this like three or four times where I just like took a little sample like I did before. And to be honest, all the fuel looks perfect. So I think the only thing I'm doing is wasting fuel. I mean, I could put it back, but that's just not a good habit to get into. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to continue on putting this back together and... Very well could be as simple as a plugged jet. For those who are out there looking at this and wondering how the choke system works, it's always on choke. And when you turn it on, this little arm, which this is how you're supposed to have it, by the way, moves. It opens the choke and it goes back to its little home position like that. If you're having a hard time starting and you look and... Um, 
Usually with this machine, it's not the fact that it's not hard starting. It could be, it could be flooding, but it's usually the problem with this is it, it pumps out a lot of black smoke. If you have a lot of black smoke, this is almost every single time your problem. You can potentially try to fix this, but most of the time, just buy a new one. They're not all that expensive. They're not cheap, but they're not like break the bank or buy a new machine expensive. And you saw how easy it was. It's just literally two 10 millimeter nuts. I'll hold it on there and that's it. Little side note too. I've seen this one or two times when someone tried to do this and they say, I actually got a message a few weeks ago about it. They were telling me how it's still not working. The cable for the plug wire or for the plug has to go under it. If it's on top of this, it's just gonna cause it to be kind of bound up. Don't do that. It's on the bottom. You want nothing touching this at all. Cause if it is, you're not gonna get a good result. Now, because this was, let's just say a easier than usual repair, and I didn't completely drain the whole system. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, if it runs, but just now that's gonna happen after. Oh, did I? Oh no, I did, I showed it. Give it a pull. Huh? There it is. Plug jet. Quick, easy, simple. If I wasn't filming this, I would have taken 10 minutes, if that. So if you have one of these machines and you've been using it routinely and just isn't working randomly and use ethanol fuel, this is a pretty good likelihood of it happening. The other part is water and a fuel, what I originally thought it was, but it's not. So if you did have water and a fuel, you drain the whole fuel system, like I said, dry it out thoroughly, air compressor, leave it in the sun, whatever method you choose, thoroughly dry not kind of dry now i just drain it out and put more gas in there because if there's any water just chilling in the lining of the tank guess what happens when you put gas in there all the water is going to accumulate in the bottom go directly into the carb and you'll be mowing two or three lines of your lawn and boom off done so be aware of that i'm going to leave you at this I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a good 10 or 15 minutes in my backyard to try to avoid some of my neighbors having to hear it and leave it at that have a good day. Follow me on Instagram at SmallEngine101. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.